dash attack and up smash. Okay, so that confirms a zero. Yeah, the thing that I've noticed a lot about uh, Meta Knight is that down air is actually a really good out of shield option. I see uh, it has such wide horizontal range, it, it seems to cover a lot of. It's a good landing option, it's, just, it's surprisingly good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little bit of shield pressure from Squidle. I thought we were going to see a grab there, but we see a uh, out of shield forward air. Yeah, you probably didn't feel too confident <laughs> at the corner there, yeah, especially a Squirtle. I think. Um, Meta Knight has some of the best edge guarding in the game. He's got really good stuff, and especially right now where he is. No, oh, within the grab. Yeah, that frame one Pokemon switch. And there's that downer coming into play. Oh, and that dash attack. That dash attack is really good. Like, I've been playing uh, some characters that have just like, instantaneous dash attacks, and they, they benefit really well from having them. Like Greninja, for example. You can combo basically right out of dash attack. Yeah, and you see him trying to put it into full effect here. Ooh, whiffing that, yeah, that's gonna put you in a lot of trouble. Ooh, dimensional cape, trying to faint him out. Oh, Squirtle, okay. I don't know what he's doing here. Oh, yeah, that's what he did there, taking him out with that dimensional cape. Okay, there's that dash attack. Okay, that's that's about as true as it can be. Yeah, dash attack and a up smash. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, boy. Are we gonna see Ivysaur just get thrown about? Nope. Wow, that up air missed. Nicely done. Okay, so that was a down throw and an up E. Wow, I'm learning all types of things about this character. Yeah, Ivysaur is really, uh, or Barra is doing his best to try to wall out Syro, but he. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay, not quite. And that grab, and Cyro didn't really do much to punish that. Yeah, and it looks like he's about to pay for it. Almost paid for it with a stock. Yeah, okay, the thing about Charizard's back air is that it's, it almost kind of lifts up a bit, so it seems very hard to two-frame with. I, at least, I've never seen it happen. Ooh, not quite. Nice up tilt. Uh, I think my mic went out or something. Okay. Ooh. Nice forward tilt. Yeah, that forward tilt is a really good tool for Charizard. Especially at the tip of it. Hey, Squirtle. Oh, not quite getting what we needed there in terms of uh, combos with Squirtle. Might be seeing a switch pretty soon. Uh, on the side. Wow, on the side B actually hitting him. Nice job. Hey, there's that dash attack. Another character that has a really good dash attack. Uh, Squirtle is definitely one of those characters. Ooh. <laughs> Using his crazy movement with that, uh, that uh, side beat. Yeah, there we go. Is that up? He taking it. Okay, so Barra's actually been making a bit of a comeback here. Let's see if he stays with the Charizard after this combo. There we go. I didn't think so. Ooh, okay, yeah, that up tilt actually coming in kind of clutch, stopping that, uh, that withdraw. <laughs> okay, holding the jab, holding the jab. Let's see if it comes to bite him. It's not. Oh, yeah, there's that switch. We need that switch. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That was a confident play right there. That was a confident up Right, let's see what stage they pick. It seems to me that Pokemon Trainer can deal on pretty much any old stage at places. You have so much variety. Now, as far now, from what I've definitely seen from Syro, or not even just Syro, but just our our, uh, our Meta Knight players here, like we have S two H, we have Syro. Those are the two most notable ones here, but. Kalos. Kalos is a crazy stage for Meta Knight. But we're not even going to get a Meta Knight, but I mean, you know, until the game starts. Having a platform on either side where you can just get upbeat and laddered, it's so awful. Yeah, Meta Knight loves that stage, including a Pokemon Stadium, too. Uh, but no, we got a Roy here. It looks like uh, maybe he was just trying to test out the waters. Oh, I like that idea, putting him up onto a platform. Yeah, that was a good idea. Nice up air, yeah, that falling up air. Whew. Yeah, 
we are going to see some edge trapping. I almost never see that neutral beat work, either Roy or Krom. It's it's cute though. Oh man. You know, to think that might have been able to kill if we got the uh, the brunt of the sword, the very base of it. Very good pivot grab. Yeah, Ivy Sword's got a pretty neat grab. Very good back air. Yeah, not quite sending high enough for uh, him to get that up e kid. Ooh, not quite either. It looked like he maybe wanted to get a jump there beforehand. You know, I, I think in terms of the nerf department, I think uh, Ivy Sword got off pretty easily. I mean, Razor Leaf doing a lot of shield damage was nice, because then you could switch over to Charizard and do a Flare Blitz and just completely knock them out. But, I mean, <laughs> Ivysaur could have gotten much worse buffs, and I think we all know which or nerfs that I'm talking about. Nice backer. Woo! That went real low. Okay. Mm, no flamethrower. You know, I, I see Charizard's uh, flamethrower working as an edge guarding tool with great effect, and that I think that the, the arc that Cyber was recovering from, that would have been a really good tool to use. That's okay, though. We still got some pretty good stage presence here. Uh, I might have jinxed it. Now Cyro's in the center. Oh! Very nice, very nice. Until that down air caught him. Oh, that's gonna hurt for sure. Yeah, you can't afford to miss that uh, forward smash. Very nice withdrawal. Hmm. It looks like Vera uh, isn't entirely familiar with, uh, like, his ledge trapping options. Ooh, that was good, that was good, that was good. Or at least he's, he's trying to catch Syro when he's already coming back. There we go, okay. It looks like we're seeing a little bit more patience here. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Not spaced properly there. Oh, that was such a good back air. Yeah, back air number two. Hmm, I like that idea, uh, using the neutral B as a movement option, or at least the, the reverse neutral B. Okay, holding that shield, no grab. Like the poking here, Cyro's doing his best to maintain the stock. Ooh, recovered a little high, I think uh, Barra made a mistake there. Oh, he's trying to get another back here. <laughs> I don't think it would have killed, but that would have put him in a really awkward position. Actually, he might have killed, could have gimped. Oh, trying to go for that uh, down air. Yeah, Cyro's looking pretty good right now. Oh, no grab, but we're able to get the two down tilts. There we go, that's a dead boy. All right, get the Squirtle. And we haven't seen a Barra charge up his water gun. I think that's a really, really good tool, especially against a character like Roy with uh, pretty shoddy recovery. I mean, Roy has, has an okay recovery in the fact that he has really good air mobility. But the up B itself, uh, you know, I think we've all seen better. Nice horses. as well. Okay, Cyro getting a little careless. Either that or Barra's picking it up. Okay, are we going to see backer number three? Nice parry. Oh, that, ooh. Wow. Okay, yeah, we still live in. Charge our big boy. Oh, there we go. Back air number three. That ledge trump was real. Nice job. Friendly fist bump. 